all right guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in so today we're gonna do something a little bit different we're gonna do a, like a chit chat get ready with me but really i'm just gonna talk about like where my mind is at throughout all of the stuff that we're going through in the world right now but it's not really gonna this is not a tutorial this is really just a way for me to vent and talk to you guys so let's just get right into it So, guys, honestly, let's let's just talk. Like, let's let's just talk. I am feeling very like nervous, and I'm just anxious about a lot of stuff. Um, everybody is kind of showing their true colors right now, and. Everybody is showing their true colors right now and people are responding to the crisis that we're in in a very different way and you know obviously everybody's handling it differently but it's just very weird to see people on the opposite side of things you know what I mean um it's just it's just very interesting it's like wow so you guys really don't care too much about what we're trying to say like what the real message is i've seen a lot of stuff go around and i don't know if people are really just confused about what the real message is or if people are just choosing to ignore it you know what i mean and i just i don't know i don't know how to feel like it's like i wake up and i you know i get on tiktok or instagram or something it's just it's hurtful to see people ignore what's happening and act like nothing is going on or like it's not affecting them or continue to spew out hate it's just it's hurtful it really is it's hurtful and it's like it just it reminds me on how far we have to go like we have gotten a lot of work done but we have so much more work to do and I've never prayed so much in my life, um, which is really terrible now that I'm like saying it out loud, but it's true. It's like, I find myself praying throughout the day so much, you guys, that it brings me to tears. It brings me to tears and I, I pray for people who spew out a bunch of hate because I know one day they're going to have to answer for that it's scary I, and it's, it's one thing to disagree with a movement or a cause or disagree with something but to then spew out hate like that is what is is hurtful to see and it's just making me very anxious i don't know i'm just i'm tired i'm tired of being nervous for my people i'm tired of feeling anxious about so many different things but you know we're fighting the good fight and I might not see it in my lifetime and my kids might not see it in their lifetime but I know one day it's coming I know one day one day everything is gonna fall into place and we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be fine we're, we're gonna be fine it's it's a hard fight right now but we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be good I have I have faith I think that without this, like if I didn't have any faith, I think I would be losing my mind, honestly. I think that I would be losing my mind. I think I would. I, I really, really think so. And it's understandable because it's like when you can't even look to your government or your president to protect you, it's like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, like, who am I supposed to look for for help and guidance and assurance that I'm going to be okay if I walk outside of my door? You know, it's, it's, it, this is a scary world. It's a scary world. I haven't done makeup and I haven't put makeup on in a, in a long time, it feels like. And this feels so weird. Like, I need to do my eyebrows. I ordered some wax so I can do them because they look terrible right now whatever I'm not going anywhere I'm just I'm just venting I'm just venting it's amazing how doing something like this can relax me so much like I feel so calm right now 
I feel so at ease. I don't feel um, nervous. I don't feel anxious about anything. I feel relaxed. And this is something that I find myself... I need I feel like I need to do more of this I feel like I need to have more of this time where I'm just allowing myself the space to just be you know what I mean and do my own creative thing um, I've been doing more DIY projects and journaling and like I said I'm praying more I'm talking to my parents like every day granted I'm, I already talk to my parents a lot but it's more like a couple times a day we're on the phone and just talking um, it's it's crazy like I don't have a lot of money but I'm rich in so many other ways that I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything you know what I mean it's like of course I could use more money of course I have money issues of course I struggle with this I struggle with that but I'm rich in, uh, in ways that I can't I can't use money to supply that you know what I mean and I'm I'm just so grateful I don't know this is like a form of meditation I feel like this is a form of meditation like I'm so relaxed right now guys I have not felt this relaxed since I did my hair when I do my hair when I'm doing like stuff with my hands I feel more relaxed is that weird but I, I just feel like I'm I feel comfortable I feel at ease I don't my mind isn't racing a mile a minute I'm not worried about what the next move is gonna be I don't know I'm just I just feel very grateful to be able to create this con like content for you guys I love making these videos I know I don't have a lot of people watching them and that's okay I'm okay with that I know growth is it takes time to grow and to reach a certain point but I'm okay with that like I'm okay with that I love making these videos it, it really brings me joy when I make them and I see that five people watch the video I don't that doesn't you know I'm not here for the numbers or any kind of money I don't make any money off of YouTube and I just I love doing it like I get excited when I think about recording and editing and stuff like that you guys know I, I reached 200 subscribers about a week ago week and a half ago and I, I'm so happy like I'm still on cloud nine about that but it has me thinking like Tiffany you should be going for like 500 subscribers so I you know thousand subscribers so I've been um, writing down my goals I've been writing down my goals right now my goal one of my goals for YouTube is to have 500 subscribers by August um, I'm working on it <laughs> I'm trying so hard um, but 500 subscribers by August. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up as well. But 500 subscribers by August, and then I would love to have a thousand subscribers by the time the new year starts. So this time with the whole coronavirus quarantine is giving me perspective. Um, like I was saying before, and I don't even know what video. I don't know what video I said it in, but I know I said it. I'm looking at this quarantine as like time for me to get everything together you know what i mean so that when we do go back to like normal life i don't feel like this time was wasted you know i remember when i first started my youtube channel i was so sure it was going to be beauty like it was going to be makeup beauty makeup 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 but i am so much more than that I am so much more than just a beauty channel not to say anything is wrong with beauty channels because I love them like I love a nice beauty channel but for me and what I want to create and what I feel like I have inside of me it's, it's going to be more than just beauty I'm 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 very I'm very that's why I'm like I can't even talk I'm very excited I, I keep talking about it I'm very excited about all the stuff I have planned like seeing it come to play I'm just very excited about it all I think my biggest going back to the you know what's happening in the world right now I don't want to call it a crisis I don't want to say we're at war it's hard it's hard like I don't even know what to refer to it as but we all know what I'm talking about so you know however you want to identify with what's going on however you want to call it this is just this is a I think a very important time in history I think um, this is going to be something that I can talk to my kids about 
and educate them on what it was really like and what happened and you know teach them about the importance of having strong moral values and having good character and you know standing up for what you believe in that's going to be the thing I want them to take away the most when it comes to this time in, in history 2020 has been a very monumental year I don't I don't really know any other way to describe it it has been monumental from January 1st all the way to now it has been monumental so I'm pretty sure everyone knows now anonymous is back and I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited I feel a sense of hope which is so weird like that's sad that is sad that a lot of us have more faith in a group of hackers to protect us or to help us in some way form or fashion than we do our own government like that does that's not supposed to happen that's not that's not supposed to be what it is our government is supposed to be protecting us from hackers it's supposed to be what keeps everything running smoothly and yet our government is what is giving us the heebie-jeebies whoa she's a little orange and when I say a little orange I mean a lot see even stuff like this even the fact that I can't find my own foundation shade and it's 2020 and brands are well aware that women of color are buying their makeup and we would like for it to match our skin we would like to be included we would like to support your brand but you leave us out of so much stuff it's like bro my like guys look at how orange my face looks look at how orange I am you know I'm, I'm gonna be doing a clean out of all my makeup and I'm just gonna get rid of the stuff that doesn't work for me or I don't use because I'm not gonna be supporting brands anymore who don't include me or any of my people if I'm the darkest shade which I have guys I have been the darkest shade before I have been the darkest shade I'm still the darkest shade for a lot of companies which is not good I'm gonna be doing a deep clean of all of my makeup and I'm gonna get rid of brands there are a lot of makeup companies that have not said anything or beauty brands. let me not just say makeup because there are skincare companies that haven't said anything either but there are a lot of companies that have not spoken up about what's going on and the silence is really really loud like the silence lets me know exactly where you stand so I know I didn't I know I haven't said anything yet but I did my nails and I think I did a really good job on them I never do or I very rarely do like nails I typically just get my regular nails gel polished or I'll do them myself um, but you know been in quarantine for so long I'm like oh well let me just practice let me just try so I bought some nails off of Amazon I bought a gel curer and I bought um, I bought a, um, a kit with like gel nail polishes and I you know did my nails guys I did my nails with baking soda it feels weird to be putting makeup on especially since I'm on this skincare journey um, I just almost feel guilty for putting makeup on I almost feel guilty for doing this to my face but it's like like I don't want to have to not do makeup ever again to have good skin you know what I mean y'all I'm just so I just feel so relaxed right now like I when I started this video I had so much anxiety I didn't know what I was gonna say I didn't know I'm probably I was probably all over the place in this video and I'm really sorry if that's the case um, but I just feel so much better now like I feel so calm and so relaxed and I feel like I could take a breather you know what I mean my mind isn't racing a mile a minute I don't feel like I'm at odds with anything or anyone or like like it's no I don't feel like it's a crisis going on right now which sometimes I feel like is necessary because then I feel like I start to cloud my mind with what ifs and what could happen and then I get nervous and then it just kind of I get in this like spiral 
and then I find myself crying and praying and stuff and it's like okay look just relax step back and just relax and do something for you so that's that's one thing that I would encourage everybody to do at this time or during this time every single time you feel stressed or nervous or anxious about anything or you're scared stop what you're doing take a breath drink drink some water and then do whatever it is that you love to do but all right guys that is it for this video thank you so much for allowing me to kind of be my thank you for being my form of therapy thank you for kind of going through this process with me and just listening to me ramble about whatever i really didn't have like i said i didn't know what i was gonna say when i started this video i just knew i needed to talk and just do something so thank you so much for allowing me to do that because i feel so much better and when i feel good it gives me more energy and it gives me more of a drive so i can make these videos and get the content out to you guys as soon as possible so thank you for that if you like the video you already know what to do but i'm gonna see you guys in the next video remember hey guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video be sure to like the video leave me a comment below and say hello and then be sure to check out my latest video bye guys